Let everybody know it's because that some of these, you know, men would might be dangerous. So we had offices in the one section, and then we had a large meeting place, gathering place, in the other. We had our support groups, our individual counseling. So this address was given out to the public, but our shelter was confidential. So it was a safety net for the women. I thought when I started working in Respawn, my question was to myself, why do women stay? And for the first year, my head spun. I got the answer. They stay for so many reasons. First, because they're afraid of losing their children, because they're told, if you, go in, if you leave me, I'm going to have the children taken away, and the women fear that that will happen. That's what I learned from the women. Then I also learned, financially, where are they going to live? There's no housing, afford, no affordable housing, no affordable daycare, so how are they going to provide for their children if they leave? She has hope that he will change because women do not want their relationship to end. They want the abuse to stop. People need to hear the stories. They need to know the impact that domestic violence has on victims and survivors and on children, on families, on neighborhoods and communities, and understand why this is a community problem. The more people learn, the more they can be part of the solution, and the more we can prevent these tragic incidents from occurring. Without respond, I don't know. I know that I found my way because of them. Everybody can help themselves, but they need some encouragement. They need a place to start. And this was the place to start for me, and I know a lot of other women. I've given this phone number and these pamphlets to people that I've met at, at, at social services. Call them. They can help you. Don't be afraid. The Parlin Trust is proud of our leadership in this campaign, but our contribution is only a start. I don't need to go to a shelter and point to my name on a plaque there. I don't even need to see the shelter. I have complete confidence that Respond is using my money wisely. Este video is para solicitar tu ayuda, por muy poca o grande que sea, va a ser una gran diferencia para las personas que están en abuso de violencia doméstica. Por favor, ayúdanos. Necesitamos tu ayuda. Gracias. It used to be said that the the most dangerous call for a police officer was domestic violence. Now we have restraining orders. We have people going with women into the courts. We have judges who, some judges, are enlightened. And I think that uh, Respond and other organizations are responsible for those things. You know, it wasn't going to happen in a vacuum. Oh, you just need the houses so badly. You need the houses because the things that happen here, first of all, women feel it's the first time in a long time they feel safe. One of the things we used to laugh about is from that first house, the women used to always take the sheets. But you know what? That's when they felt safe. They came here, they were clean, crisp sheets and pillowcases and everything, and they wanted to bring that with them. So that's what the house is all about, safe, being safe and being without the fear. this guilt of guilt just a waste of time and I can't forget my one regret of loving a man who treated me unkindly was all a romantic vision I learned to love on a Hollywood movie screen to my bar bay. he was more than kin. And to my heart, he was more than me. 